Hello energy fans, welcome to the Tenergy channel, where we talk about all things related to power. Today we're going to cover lithium iron phosphate batteries. This chemistry will crop up when you're reviewing portable power stations because of the benefits it offers over the traditional lithium ion chemistries. In this video, we'll explain what lithium iron phosphate chemistry is, its advantages and disadvantages, and how to maintain it. First, let's learn about lithium iron phosphate batteries. A lithium iron phosphate battery, or LFP for short, is a type of battery that can be recharged and is similar to other lithium ion batteries. The difference is that instead of using lithium cobalt oxide or lithium manganese oxide for the cathode material, it uses lithium iron phosphate. They are great for things like portable power stations because they have a long life and can be charged and discharged many thousands of times before they stop working. They have a nominal voltage of about 3.2 volts per cell and can hold different amounts of electricity, depending on how big they are. It's important to check the details when you're buying a battery because different brands and models might have different specifications. But now you know the basics of lithium iron phosphate batteries. Let's dive a little deeper. Starting with advantages. First off, they're safer because they don't get too hot like other kinds of lithium-based battery chemistries. This makes them more reliable for applications where safety is important, like electric cars, boats, robots, and drones. Second, they last a long time, making them a good choice for things like solar-powered gadgets that get charged and used a lot. Third, they're more affordable than other types of lithium-ion batteries, so they're a good option if you want something that works well, but won't break the bank. Finally, lithium iron phosphate batteries have a nominal voltage of 3.2 volts, so they can be connected in a series of four to create a 12.8 volts battery pack, which is perfect for replacing old 12 volts sealed lead acid power systems in RVs and boats. Lithium iron phosphate batteries also have some potential downsides to consider. One of them is that they don't store as much energy in a given amount of space compared to other types of batteries, like the ones in smartphones or tablets. Another disadvantage is that lithium iron phosphate batteries don't work as well in very cold temperatures, so if you use them in cold weather, you have to be extra careful and use a special protection circuit board to keep them working optimally. Lastly, lithium iron phosphate batteries don't perform as well when they have to provide a lot of power quickly, like in power tools such as cordless drills. So if you need a lot of power fast, lithium ion battery chemistries might be a better choice. Let's move on to how to maintain it. Lithium iron phosphate batteries can provide great performance and longevity, but to maintain these benefits, it's important to take good care of them. Here are some tips on how to do that. The first and perhaps most important tip is to always use a protection circuit board with your lithium iron phosphate batteries. This is a safety feature that helps prevent overcharging and over discharging, which can damage the battery or even cause a safety hazard. Always check to make sure your lithium iron phosphate battery has a PCB before buying it. When it comes to charging it, it's important to use a charger that's specifically designed for lithium iron phosphate batteries and to charge using a constant current, constant voltage charging profile. Also, keep the charge current below 0.5C for the longevity of the batteries. This means that if your battery has a capacity of say 10,000 milliamp hour, you should charge it at a current of no more than five amp. In addition, charging your battery to 100% or 3.65 volts per cell is not necessary and can actually reduce its lifespan. So it's a good practice to charge it to only around 80 to 90% for day-to-day -day use. When discharging it, make sure to keep the discharging rate under the maximum discharge rating of the cell. Going beyond the limit can cause permanent damage and reduce the lifespan of the battery. It's also important not to discharge the battery below 2.5 volts per cell, as this can cause the battery to become unusable. When storing your lithium iron phosphate battery, it's best to keep it in a cool, dry place and to avoid leaving it completely discharged for extended periods of time. It's a good idea to charge the battery to around 50 to 60% of its capacity before storing it for long periods. You should also do a regular checkup every four to six months. When handling your lithium iron phosphate battery, make sure to treat it with care and avoid puncturing or disassembling it. Keep it away from heat and flame as these can cause damage to the battery or even create a fire hazard. Lastly, when the battery reaches the end of its lifespan, it's important to recycle it properly this helps conserve resources and reduce the environmental impact of battery production. You can check out the link in the description to find a battery recycling facility near you. By following these tips, 
you can ensure that your lithium iron phosphate battery provides great performance and longevity for years to come. If you need help with your battery, feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.